Welcome. In this video, we are going to be using the definition of cosh x and sinh x to prove the identity cosh squared x minus sinh squared x equals 1. Let's begin this by actually writing down what these definitions are. So cosh x is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by 2. Sinh x is really similar. It's e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. And now since we want to prove equality here, let's begin with the left-hand side that I've underlined. That has more information, so let's start there. So cosh squared x minus sinh squared x equals, and then let's replace cosh and sinh with their definitions. That is e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2 squared. And then we're from that, we're going to subtract e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2 quantity squared. This equals e to the x plus e to the negative x quantity squared here in this numerator divided by 2 squared minus e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by 2. And of course, the numerator and denominator are also squared here. Now clearly, 2 squared is just equal to 4. So in the next step, I'm going to just rewrite that as a 4. So here is that 4 in my denominator. And in the numerator, we have e to the x plus e to the negative x times itself minus e to the negative, excuse me, e to the x minus e to the negative x also times itself. Now please pause your video and see if you can't work out what's in the numerator here. So rewrite what's in the red box here and then press play and double check what you have against what I have. All right, you should have what's up on your screen that's e to the 2x here plus 2e to the x minus x plus e to the negative 2x and then minus this entire quantity e to the 2x minus e to the x minus x, that's 2 times that, plus e to the negative 2x. So take a look at the top right corner, e to the x minus x is e to the 0, which is equal to 1. And I'll use that when I continue to simplify. That is, I have e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the negative 2x. And now that became a 2 because, again, e to the x minus x is just 1, so this became a 2 here. And continuing, we're going to distribute this negative to each of the terms inside the parentheses. So this is minus e to the 2x, and then we have a negative times a negative is a positive 2e to the x minus x, so that's just 2 because, again, that e to the x minus x becomes a 1. And then finally, we have this negative times this last term, which gives us a negative e to the negative 2x. And this entire thing is divided by 4. Now, you should see a lot of things that match. I have this e to the 2x, which is positive, and negative e to the 2x, so those are going to add up to 0. And then I have this other matching pair here. So to recap, we have e to the 2x minus e to the 2x, well that's 0. And we also have e to the negative 2x plus, excuse me, minus e to the negative 2x, and that's also 0. So some things are going to vanish in this next step. So this is equal to 2 plus 2, that's 4 over 4, which is just 1. And we are done.